the city, as far as I'm concerned, has cost me thousands and thousands. It's not just me. Many of us are suffering this problem. Betty Davis says she knows rats are a problem in the neighborhood. She's worked with her community to get everyone on the block rat bait boxes and even spent thousands of dollars tearing up her front garden because it was becoming a repeated problem. But over the last two years, none of that has seemed to matter to the city. I've been getting three to four summonses every year. But this year, it really got crazy. The last summons I got, I think it said the maximum could be $630. Mayor Eric Adams has declared a war on rats since taking office. City Hall has identified four so-called rat mitigation zones, predominantly communities of color, including a zone where Davis lives. Data compiled by the publication City Limits shows rat enforcement has skyrocketed from around 18,000 violations before the pandemic to nearly double that since Adams was sworn in. But rat complaints to 311 one continue to rise from 31,000 in 2019 to more than 41,000 in 2022 and beyond. And Sanitation Commissioner Jessica Tisch says it's really the city's intense efforts to containerize trash that have actually made an impact. We did a pilot of residential containerization mm -hmm. of trash on 10 blocks in West Harlem. And over the course of one year on those 10 blocks, we saw a 60% decrease in rat sightings compared to the rest of the district, which remained flat. Davis says if the city really wants to crack down and do something in her neighborhood, they should go after all the developers displacing rats without proper mitigation, instead of ticketing people who've lived here for generations. And to make me or my fixed income, and I've always worked two jobs all my life, and now I have to supplement the real estate interests that have built all kinds of high rises all around this building because they didn't do due diligence in terms of the rodent population. Late Thursday, I touched based with the city's rat czar who insisted inspectors repeatedly try to warn and work with property owners and only ticket repeated violations and that rat mitigation zones are selected for more inspections because of high levels of complaints and low compliance. In Crown Heights, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.